developments in the RG Kaur Medical College and Hospitals and we'll tackle each of these developments one by one. Firstly, in the Shialda Court today, the case was committed and of course a date has been fixed for framing of charges, which means that the trial officially begins with the framing of charges. Now this has happened and the court has decided that it will be an in-camera trial, which means that usually in rape and murder cases, often there are demands for in-camera trials and the, this is of course in, in tune with guidelines that it will be in-camera trial, which means that it will not happen in an open courtroom and the number of people who can access or witness the trial will be limited. Apart from that, uh, today of course accused Shandai Rai was in the court and he of course told the court that I don't know anything about the case, I'm innocent. Now this happened in the Shialda court and the court explained to him that whatever he has to say, he has his lawyer and his lawyer can communicate to the court. Now this of course comes in the backdrop of uh, his uh, you know, production in court during the uh, uh, you know, case being committed uh, for trial and that, that means the trial can begin once the charges are framed against the accused. Now, obviously the charge sheet is largely reflective of what the Kolkata police investigation had, apart from the DNA evidence and also the forensic evidence that the Kolkata police had connect, uh, collected, those reports, etc. seem to have matched. And that is something that, of course, they are saying in the charge sheet as well, which means that Sanjay Rai was at the spot, though the CBI still has the option of filing supplementary charge sheets if they find more evidence of involvement of other people. Now, obviously, when it comes to uh, the Ajikar, uh, you know, itself and the uh, in incident itself, the murder and rape of the second year postgraduate trainee, post that in Ajikar hospital, there have been protests. Doctors, junior doctors are continuing their hunger strike. Also, what we know is that senior doctors also have now resigned in uh, in a resignation letter that they've signed and there's a video of those doctors also signing that resignation let letter uh, this is of course to say in solidarity with the junior doctors of the Archikor who've been continuing their protest despite appeals from the administration to return to work now this protest is also taking place at the time of pujos in kolkata and uh, you know there's often uh, been a call from some sections to shan pujos however pujo is a large uh, you know economic event as well and therefore, there have been debates on whether, you know, these calls to shun celebrations, etc. are justified or not. However, all of that, in spite of that, the protests are continuing by the junior doctors. Then you have these developments in court where, you know, the case has been committed and the accused surprisingly telling the court she doesn't know anything and that he's innocent. Also, you have these senior doctors resigning. So those are the incidents that have taken place today as far as the Arjikar medical college and hospital case is concerned and the protests after that incident are concerned. With camera person G.D. Shankar at the Sialda court in Kolkata, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. For more such videos, do log on to our YouTube channel, subscribe, press the bell, bell icon for notifications on new videos where we bring you videos that goes beyond the news only on NDTV's YouTube channel.